Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alex Martinez, and today I have a student named Mike coming into the office, and I'm gonna be teaching him about wholesale real estate investing. So come take a look with us today so you can learn too, all right? See you there. Hey guys, so I met my student Mike and we talked wholesaling and he's just starting out. So we went over three main things. We talked for an hour, but I'm gonna give you the recap, okay? So first off, what we talked about was getting MLS access. So what's MLS access? It's the multiple listing service. It's the database of all leads on the market in your area. So it's very important as a real estate investor, as a wholesaler to get access to this. Because if you get access to this, you have access to all the leads on the market. It's very important. Now all those leads, there's houses that are for sale that have been renovated. Those aren't really good leads to fix and flip, to wholesale. But there are leads that are distressed on there. So you definitely want to get MLS access. There's two ways to get it. One, you can be a licensed real estate agent or broker. Or two, you can get unlicensed assistant access. Really important that you try to get that. So unlicensed assistant access, sometimes there's a sign up fee, like 50 bucks, $25 per quarter, so every three months. But go ahead, do that, get unlicensed assistant access so that you can get access to all the leads on the market in your area. And so the next point under MLS access, like how do you get it? You need to get it from a real estate agent or a real estate broker, okay? They need to grant you this MLS assistant access. So make sure that you pay for it. It's gonna be a lot easier when you do that. Like I said, it's a nominal fee but you can incentivize this real estate agent by saying, hey, if you give me MLS assistant access, I'm gonna be filtering and finding leads on the MLS that I can send offers on. Uh, there's gonna be deals that you could be my buyer's agent on and you can submit the offer for me. So you can get buying commissions on these deals. That's really important because buying commissions are how real estate agents and also real estate brokers get paid. It's one of the ways to get paid. Now, if you wholesale a deal to a fix and flipper, now you can also incentivize this real estate agent saying, hey, if my fix and flipper, my cash buyer needs a real estate agent to list this property, you know, you can potentially get listing commission. You can get a listing commission by listing this fix and flippers deal that I wholesale. Or even if, if you're a fix and flipper yourself and you fix and flip a property, you get under contract and you need a go-to agent to list your property for you, you can incentivize this agent who gave you MLS assistant access saying, hey, I'll let you list my property for me once it's been fixed and flipped. Now, when on the MLS, been doing this for eight years, what's really important to understand is that it's a numbers game. It takes about 15 offers to get one deal accepted, 15 to one ratio, to make a $10,000 wholesale fee, okay? So most people don't know this, and they try the MLS, they send two offers, and they get two no's, and they quit. They give up and just quit, and they suffer and fail. Those people won't be successful. You need to keep going. Know that it takes about 15 offers to get one deal, all right? So if you get 14 no's, keep going. Heck, if you get 15 no's, keep going. You know, keep submitting offers till you get it. You will make it happen. You will get this wholesale fee. It's not unreasonable to at very least do one offer a day. You know, that's 30 offers a month. You should be getting around two deals then. So work your way up to that. Once you really get rocking and rolling, then you can do up to five offers a day. When you do that, you are doing volume, okay? And you can start building a team, uh, five offers a day, 150 offers a month, I mean, that's what the big boys do. So if you wanna play with the big boys, definitely work on submitting offers. So remember that 15 to one offer ratio to make $10,000. The second point I went over with Mike was the importance of REAs. So R-E-I-A's, those are Real Estate Investors Association meetings. You want to go to these meetings in your area so that you can become a familiar face and get known. These are the meetings where real estate investors hang out, people who are interested in real estate investing hang out, uh, real estate investors go there, they do case studies on deals they fixed and flipped. And so it's a great way to find cash buyers if you're a wholesaler. If you need cash buyers for your real estate deals, go to these meetings, go to as many as possible. Um, you're gonna start being a familiar face, you're gonna start seeing other people, you're gonna start seeing the same cash buyers in different places and they're gonna be more willing and able to work with you. So it's really important to build that trust and that relationship with these cash buyers and this is a great way to do it. So always go to these meetings in your area, uh, Google it, look on meetup.com, type in your city name and RIA and Real Estate Investor Association meeting, you'll be able to find them go to them. Don't be lazy. Don't skip this step. This is really big. It allows you to actually go out there and network. It's get outside of your comfort zone for those that are maybe introverts, but do this and you'll become known. You'll meet business relationships. 
you'll meet people that you develop long-term relationships with. Someone I'm working with right now, I met eight years ago at a real estate investing association meeting with my best friends. So you never know who you're gonna meet. You're gonna be doing a lot of deals with these people. So the second thing is if you need a real estate agent or broker to help you get assistant access, where do you find them, right? One of the best places to do this is to meet them at a real estate investing association meeting. You know, make it easy. There's a good saying, they say, uh, you know, how to find a good girl to marry. They say, go to where good girls hang out, go to church, go to these different places, right? So if you're ever asking the question, where do I find a real estate agent or broker that wants to work with me? Go to where real estate agents and brokers who are interested in, in real estate investing, go to where they hang out. And those are RIAs, right? Let's not make it hard on ourselves. Let's make it easy. Go to real estate investing association meetings. And once again, you'll become a familiar face you'll get taken seriously. This is the best and easiest hack, guys. If you're brand new to an industry, how do you meet all the big players? You go to where all the big players go. So do this, be consistent with these meetings. Don't just be the fly by night guy. Don't go to one meeting and then never go to another one. Go to them as many as possible, be consistent, become a familiar face, network and meet these other people and other players in your area, and soon you'll become a player. Now, number three, the most important thing, focus. A lot of times we forget this. When you're starting out as a real estate wholesaler, real estate investor, and you're trying to get deals, you need to focus on one or two marketing strategies to get deals. Just one or two. A lot of people that I work with over the years struggle and, and suffer because they're trying to focus on five to 10 different marketing strategies to get deals. And guess what? They become the jack of all trades and the master of none. So when you focus on one to two marketing strategies, you'll be successful. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you use the MLS, one of my favorite ways to get deals, to find deals, since they're already there, the MLS strategy may just be one of the ways that you focus on to get deals. Just submit offers day in, day out, scour and filter through the MLS, go through all the new listings, all the distressed properties, submit offers on them, develop relationships with all those different types of agents that are listing these types of properties. That way you can not only develop relationships with agents who are doing deals on the market, but that will also bring off market deals to you eventually as well. So really important that you understand that. Maybe your other strategy is direct mail or bandit sign, just something like that. Just don't do five different strategies. Focus, I mean, if you can just focus on one, do one. If you can focus on two, great, but I don't recommend doing more than that, guys. Focus until you have a consistent stream of deals from one source, then systemize it and automate it, and then go on to the next strategy. And once you do that, you'll be golden, you guys. Awesome, guys, and so that's it. We recapped what I talked about with my student, Mike, today in an hour. I'm giving you the shortcut of it, so you guys don't have to listen to the whole thing. But we talked about getting MLS access, why it's important. It's a database of all leads on the market in your area. You can just continually submit offers every single day. And that's really, really important because it takes about 15 offers to get one deal to make $10,000 as a wholesale deal, right? So one of the ways to get those offers out is MLS. And you can get access to it two ways, being a licensed real estate agent or broker, or being an unlicensed real estate assistant. So remember that, incentivize agents with buying commissions and listing commissions that are gonna give you this assistant access. Now the second part, when you're starting out, go to all the Real Estate Investor Association meetings, right? RIAs, Google it, look for it, go to them in your area, become a familiar face to where you will find cash buyers and you'll find those real estate agents or brokers to work with that can get you that MLS access as well. And then number three guys, just focus. Right? I know when you're starting out, there's so many things under the sun you feel like you need to do, but if you just focus on one to two marketing strategies, become the master of those strategies. And, and really, you know, if you can just focus on one, do that, then you'll be golden. Don't spread yourself too thin. Really focus when you're starting out. That way you can be successful, guys. All right, so I hope you enjoy that recap. So if you can, like this, subscribe. We'll have more videos. I'll do more recaps and meetings that I have and also help you out on your real estate journey, guys. So let me know, comment below if you have any questions and I'll be able to answer them as well in the next videos. All right, guys, happy investing. So submit those darn offers, get them out. Let's go.